Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we're using the Australian Wildflower Reading Cards uh, to do the weekly oracle card guidance. And I'd like you to choose between number one, two or three. And uh, yes, you can go directly to the timestamp and we can begin the reading. So for those of you who've chosen the first option, we're asking, what is your weekly oracle card guidance? What is your weekly oracle card guidance? So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we have the card grass tree and the caption is enlightenment. So I feel here the energy I'm getting when I look at this card, it, it feels like there's so much more information that's unbeknownst to us that is that exists, that we need to know about the situation or about our lives, or about our feelings, about the world as it is. And I feel here that this time ahead, as we go along in this week, in this, this next couple of weeks for you, is going to be a time when you recognize or you are shown when um, another path, another way of thinking about things, or a way in which you can understand the world a little bit better, in a way that it almost brings a bit of a relief that there is this other path, that there is this other side of the coin that exists, that explains whatever it is that's going on. Now, I feel there's a fair amount of movement that's taking place um, in your life at the moment. And there is this kind of these ideas that stay still and these um, beliefs that stay still. And this time ahead, this next couple of weeks, it's almost like a time where you need to reevaluate those beliefs because things are changing pretty quickly and those beliefs are staying the same and they're not evolving with the time. So they're not evolving with the way things are shifting in your life. And so you need to update your beliefs or need to update your uh, ideas about whatever the situation is with the new information that you've been given. It feels to me like the, what this card is saying is that things aren't going to be the same again. Things are changing in a pretty uh, quick way, in a rapid way, and that the changes that take place are not necessarily uh, for for the worse. You know, they're not necessarily for the worse. They're not necessarily on the surface of it, something that one would celebrate, but it's not as scary as one may think it is. And it's not as um, worrisome as one may think it is, because there's another side of the coin. There's something else here. There's some kind of other information that's being uncovered, where there's a greater wisdom that's underneath it, it all. And there's something to be appreciated because of it. So I feel like there's going to be quite a lot of change taking place in your life. Things are going to be moving quite quickly for you in the next couple of weeks. And there are, there's going to be a need for you to really update your values, really think about how you think about the world, about what is going on, about that particular situation that you're asking about in your mind right now. And there's going to be a need to uh, work with what is happening right now, work with what is shifting right now. And I think that the other thing that's here is the idea that when, when this is over, so whatever it is that you're undergoing right now, when this is over, uh, you're going to find yourself in a whole new place, in a very different place, and it's not going to be unpleasant. I think the message that's being repeated to me here is that things can be different. So what you might have imagined to be always the case, and it, it only exists in that particular way, it doesn't anymore. And so there is a sense that even though something might have always been a particular way, and you might have thought that it can only exist in that particular way, that you're going to find that it can exist in another way and you're going to be quite surprised about it, but you're going to find that life continues. The the living matter, the way in which it continues, uh, the integrity of it continues. And it's just that what's going to happen is that it's going to be uh, created differently. So I know that these are really abstract messages and I hope they resonate on some level. Or you understand what I'm trying to say here. I'm going to go ahead and read uh, from the book for this particular uh, card. So it reads that the grass tree brings new ideas, enlightened thinking and clarity with it right with it. Right now, you have an opportunity to rise above a situation and work not only towards your own positive outcome, 
but for the greater good of all. This is not a time to be selfish, so actions which may harm others, no matter how well-intentioned they are, must be avoided. With reward comes responsibility, and you're also being reminded of this right now. Grass Tree provides clarity to resolve current issues. Grass Tree warns of issues surrounding impatience and ignorance. As a healer, it brings mental clarity and is very good is a very good detox supporter. So I feel that's very much in li- aligned with what I've been feeling about this card. I just feel that whatever's coming to you right now is going to change the way in which you think about things. And it's going to be for 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 the better. It's it's going to be for the better, whatever enlightenment you receive in the next couple of weeks. However, you are made to look at the situation from whichever angle that you're looking at a situation, you're going to find that it's going to be... Um, you can find that it's not as bad as you might have thought it was, or it's going to be a little bit easier to bear. And there's going to be some kind of warm, pleasant uh, element of surprise that comes through where you look at things in a way and think, ah, it's nice that it's like that. It's nice. It's a relief that it's like that. Okay, so I'm going to leave you there with that one. And I'm going to move on to the next reading. I wish you all a blessed week ahead and many blessings to you all. So for those of you who've chosen the second option, we're asking what is your weekly oracle card guidance? What is your weekly oracle card guidance? So for those of you who've chosen the option number two, we have the card Orange Banks here. And the the caption here reads Enthusiasm. So I feel here that in this week, what you're going to find is that Whereas there may have been a bit of stagnance in the last couple of months or in the last while, however long it's been for you, uh, whereas things have not particularly moved perhaps in a particular way, it's almost as if you're coming out of a space where there's been great introspection, great going inward, and it's a time to come, come out of yourself. It's a time to share yourself with the world. It's a time for you to show what it is that you've been working on. Oh, it's a time for you to be able to be more expressive about what you actually think about how you feel about things. And um, there's a there's a need for you to come out. It's almost like a springtime for you in terms of being able to come out of a space that you've been in and to be able to move into a different space. And there's something quite um, pleasant about this. There's something that sparks your enthusiasm and you're going to be looking forward to this time. It's also a time where you can actually um, enjoy yourself a bit more and find that things weigh not so heavily on you as they have been in the last few weeks or so. And so I think that as you go along in this week, that even even if things might have quite a gravity to them, you're going to find that you're going to be able to deal with it a lot easier and that it's going to work out quite well for you. I feel there's also a kind of stubbornness or a kind of... Um, almost like a, a stubbornness around the stability of what's happening here. So there's a commitment to being... Um, solid or being stable in a particular way and that is not going to be difficult any longer there's whatever you committed yourself to whatever you doing it's going to be easier to carry out the responsibilities associated with that commitment it's not going to be a struggle so if you've been fighting against something you've been finding it hard to do something get it get trying to finish something you're going to find that it's going to be easier to do so right now there's going to be a lightness about it and as you 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 work through whatever it is that you are working through um it's going to be easier you're going to be having much more fun with it it's just going to be lighter for you generally this is also a time where you can actually just enjoy whatever it is that you're doing it's a time where you can partake in a fun activities where there's a, a balance that's created not because you're forcing it to be created or you're trying very hard to create this balance but that it comes naturally it comes naturally the 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 weave in between work and play or fun and being serious and lightness and and a more serious note it all just reveals itself quite easily right now and uh, it's going to be um, easier for you to also cope with and deal with challenges in this couple of weeks in fact I feel like the next week or so there isn't much um, that's going to be really getting in your way at all I'm just going to go ahead and read from the book here for this card I also did this for the uh, first option. So I'm not going to describe the actual uh, plant. You welcome to uh, Google that if you'd like. So what it reads here is, do 
what you love is the message here and new enthusiasm is needed and you are the only one who can make it happen. If there is failure or stagnation, it will be only due to a lack of enthusiasm from those involved. By instilling a new verb, going back to the essence and heart of the matter, you will have the tools to begin again. Something needs shaking up, dusting off. There's an energy here for education, improving skills, undertaking new projects, which involve learning. The challenge of Orange Banks here is leth lethargy and cynical thinking. You may find that over-enthusiasm of others annoys or distracts you too. As a healer, Orange Banks here is a big dose of enthusiasm and renews the drive for life. So here I feel that it's not so much that you've been feeling um, lethargic or that you've been feeling like things that you aren't able to push things forward. It's more like the energy has been like that and it's been a holding, a pressing things down and it's been difficult to be able to move and do stuff um, as easily. And so I think that with the energy being shifted or it being removed, especially with this full moon and the equinox that's uh, upon us now, you're going to find that uh, it's just easier to do whatever it is that you need to do. And uh, you're going to find that things get lighter for you. All right. So I think it's not so much about you finding the enthusiasm in yourself as you just allowing the enthusiasm to take over yourself. So um, yeah, so I'm going to leave it there for you. And I'm wishing you a very blessed week and uh, many blessings from me to you. And for those of you who've chosen the third option, here we are asking what is your weekly oracle card guidance what is your weekly oracle card guidance so those you, for those of you who've chosen the option number three we have the flannel flower and the caption is calm so here i feel like uh for those of you who've chosen this option you're going to find that it's just going to be an easier time for you as you go along right now. It's just going to be um, easier to get through things. It's going to be a time where you have the space that you need to be able to do whatever it is that you need to do. There's not necessarily any distractions. There's not a heightened energy or lowered energy that you need to balance out or to find the middle ground from. It's just easy and calm and things are working out in the way that they need to. I feel here also that it's important or wise right now for you to be able to think, take things at face value. And if you are receiving information from others, uh, which is meant to help, which is intended for you to help you, you need to be able to take that in and to be able to use that and not question it too deeply because it's being offered in with good intention and it's um, it's meant to, to assist in some kind of way. I feel here also that there are lots of forces and lots of um, things in the background that are actually helping you, working with you, working in accordance with your wish wishes, which are actually helping you to do whatever it is that you need right now. And the only thing that's required from you is to be uh, simply thankful for what it is that you have. And even if you're unable to acknowledge what it is that's coming your way, it's important for you to just feel grateful and thankful and to tap into that energy right now, because I think that's the only thing that's really needed at this moment. Look, feel I'm getting from this card right now is that things are just okay. And, you know, sometimes that's really so much better. That's what we crave for when things are protecting or things are not really going to plan or you just you know, kind of over enthusiastic and you can't quite find your ground. And I think that that this is almost like the perfect space to be in, to be able to do whatever it is that you need to. And whereas some may find it quite mundane or quite routine and that there's a need for some kind of shift or or um, shaking up things, I feel that here's a space where you can just quite quietly enjoy what is it that you have in your life and how it is that your life is proceeding right now and you can take a moment to enjoy the simple things in life and really appreciate that you know that cup of tea that comfy sofa the warm bed that you have all these things that one may perhaps take for granted but these simple things in life that make your life so much easier than it normally would be I'm going to go ahead and read from the book uh, that came with this um, with this deck. 
It reads here, the messages slow down and breathe. Now could be the time to make a peace offering and perhaps the opportunity of a fresh start is about to appear. Those with issues surrounding fear of being touched or of intimacy, particularly men, can benefit greatly from soft, gentle flannel flower. Challenge of flannel flower is weakness. If there are difficulties at the moment, you must learn to stand stronger. Slow down right now and listen. You have the opportunity to resolve issues right now if you focus a little more on the feelings of others. Flannel flowers energy healing opens the way to improve trust between people, heal past hurts and allows new bonds to be formed with greater ease. So it's interesting that that, that message doesn't really, it's not um, really in alignment with what I'm channeling because what I'm feeling here is that it's less about people and relationships that you have with others and more about yourself and more about the peace that you're feeling inside of you right now which is really important for you as you go along and I, I'm hoping that all the messages resonate for you actually that I'm giving here today um, but I, I feel that more than anything this is like a time of peace for you. I feel also that if you were thinking of visiting the grave of a, a a deceased family member or friend it would be a good time to do that this week and you'd be able to find peace uh, from doing that as well or even if you're not able to visit uh, uh, the grave of or of somebody who's deceased but to light a candle uh, in the memory of them or something to that effect there's also a sense here that that it's a calm after the storm you know not the calm before the storm it feels like things have settled down and can actually continue in this way for a little while longer and you can enjoy this time a little longer. So whereas, you know, for some of the other re readings or cards um, that I've pulled today as well as other readings that I'm doing, people might be coming into quite a lot of um, of chaos and, and activity. Your reading feels very much like it's coming into calm and you can actually just enjoy this calm and allow it to to just uh, envelop you for a while and it's almost like you're encased in it and you can be protected by this calm that is around you. So I hope that one of those messages resonated with you today and um, I'm wishing you all a very blessed week as you go along. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.